Each My MCERT module will include content based on key advances to the practice of emergency medicine. Check ABEM's website for additional key advance resources, including synopses for each advance. Now, let's take a closer look at the key advance on the use of the heart score in the evaluation and management of emergency department patients with chest pain. A 47-year-old man arrives at the emergency department with chest pain that has persisted for six hours and remains unchanged with rest. His vital signs show a blood pressure of 130 over 82, a heart rate of 98, and an oxygen saturation of 99% on room air. He has no significant past medical history, but his father died from a myocardial infarction at the age of 62. The electrocardiogram shows normal sinus rhythm and has no abnormalities. Serial troponin results are normal. What should happen with this patient? It can be a challenge evaluating chest pain patients with seemingly ambiguous presentations to determine whether they have an acute coronary syndrome, or ACS. Normal troponin values and a normal ECG do not exclude ACS completely. This uncertainty has led to many patients being hospitalized and evaluated with non-invasive stress testing or imaging. A number of risk assessment scores, like the heart, Timmy, and Grace, have been developed using information collected during the initial workup of chest pain patients. These scores all seek to identify a patient's short-term risk for major adverse cardiac events, called MACEs. In clinical trials and observational studies, the heart score, which was specifically developed for non-differentiated chest pain patients, outperformed the GRACE and TIMI scores in discriminating between chest pain patients with and without risk of a MACE and identified the largest group of low-risk patients that could be safely discharged to home. The GRACE and TIMI scores were developed in patients already diagnosed with ACS, using a study group with a higher risk of acute myocardial infarction and or death. The heart score identifies patients at low risk of having a MACE using the patient's history, ECG, age, risk factors, and troponin values. The heart score can identify patients who can be discharged safely, thereby decreasing cardiac testing and reducing hospital stays. In comparison, using the Timmy or GRACE scores could lead to unnecessary admissions and diagnostic testing. A potential limitation of the heart score is the subjectivity of assessing the patient's presentation and whether the history is suspicious for ACS. However, the heart score has been found to be a reliable and clinically relevant instrument. With this new evidence about the heart score, a clinical practice change has been recommended. The recommended action is to use the heart score as the risk assessment tool for patients presenting with chest pain in the emergency department. As a quick recap, recent studies have shown that the conventional use of cardiology-based risk assessments like TIMI and GRACE scores can lead to unnecessary admissions and diagnostic testing in low-risk patients. Current recommendations include using the heart score in the evaluation of patients presenting with chest pain to help determine whether there is low risk for a MACE. In the given scenario, the emergency physician calculates a heart score of 2 based on the patient's presentation and history. His age of 47 gives 1 point, and family history of his father with an MI before age 65 gives a second point. Studies have shown that a score of 0 to 3 is associated with an approximate 2% chance of major adverse cardiac event over the next six weeks. The patient is safe to be discharged home with follow-up. Learn more about MyMCERT and key advances at www.abem.org.